Hello everyone, I am Kingsley Sambal from Service Provider Practice of Zeno. In Zeno, we track various digital technologies like blockchain, AI, RPA, etc. Today I want to talk about blockchain in particular and how it is getting traction in the ERD space. When we talk about blockchain, most of us would connect it to the meteoric rise and fall of cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc. peaked towards the end of 2017 but fell down to nearly one fourth of its price by the end of 2018. However, cryptocurrencies are just one side of the blockchain, but the underlying blockchain technology is of real interest to the enterprises. If you see VC funding in this space, it has seen a steady quarter on quarter increase and has reached nearly 3 billion in 2018 alone. So what is blockchain in the context of an enterprise and how enterprises are leveraging it? Blockchain is basically a decentralized ledger to maintain all the transactions of the peer-to-peer -peer network. Enterprises are tapping into these technologies and are implementing nearly 50 plus real-world use cases. Finance, media, supply chain have seen the highest traction among all these use cases. For example, companies are implementing blockchain to track their supply chain. The blockchain technology keeps track of the supply details, batch details and timestamp in an immutable ledger which ensures that the supplier are held accountable for their quality. Initially, lots of new age startups were leading initiatives in this space and technology giants like IBM, Microsoft were taking big bets on the same. Interestingly now, your traditional enterprises like Cisco, Intel, Huawei are increasingly investing in this space and are putting their skin into the game. To increase adoption in this space, enterprises are also partnering with service providers. Some of the service providers have well-established blockchain practice. For example, a leading service provider has a blockchain lab which helps clients to accelerate their blockchain implementation through their in-house platform offering. The whole service provider ecosystem is partnering in blockchain initiatives through implementation projects, solution offerings and consortiums. So, if you are an enterprise who hasn't tapped into the blockchain ecosystem yet, where should you start? While there is no one-size-fits-all approach, enterprises have been highly successful in setting up a dedicated practice for blockchain. There are three steps to this approach. The first step is to identify and prioritize the right use case to work on. This step is highly crucial as more than 90% of the use case that the enterprises are working on blockchain do not really need this technology. For example, in a use case, where all the interacting parties are trusted entities, there is no need to force fit blockchain technology. So it is imperative for enterprises to identify the right use case where there is an underlying need of blockchain technology. The second step is to identify the talent hotspots for blockchain technology and finalize the right location by looking at the resource availability and resource cost. This needs to be viewed from a lens of opportunity cost. So once you identify the right use case and location, the third and final step is to set up a blockchain center of excellence. Based on the investment capacity, there are multiple ways to go about it. It could be a dedicated investment into a COE or a cost-effective approach of setting up an ODC with service provider. Or it could be a hybrid option which offers the best of both worlds. In a nutshell, blockchain technology is here to stay and has a crucial role to play in the year and space. It is high time that enterprises latch onto this technology before they miss the boat. While there are multiple ways to approach the opportunity, our experience has shown that a well-planned COE has yielded most returns. Thank you.